Hey guys, this is Paul for Phone Arena and we've got another list of brand new apps that are worth checking out. Here are some highlights. Spaces for iOS and Android. This is Google's new app which lets you define special rooms for you and your friends to share content in. It's not about groups, as you can have any of your friends in any of these spaces. It's about the themes of the content. So, for example, you can create a space where you share only smartphone news and a space for dog pictures. When you want to share something, you can make use of the integrated Google search or the YouTube browser or just pick anything from your own gallery. The shared content is up front and center in these cards here, easy to browse and find, and comments are secondary, so you don't have to fear about burying your shared links by commenting on them. See-through for iOS. This app lets you very quickly edit one of your videos and slap a piece of transparent text on top, giving it that modern hipster look. So just pick a video, punch out your text, control its size with the slider here, edit video transparency with these two buttons, and put a color filter on top from here for a more special effect. And that's all. Lens Launcher for Android. This is a new launcher coming directly from the Android Experiments program. It oversimplifies your home screen by placing all of your apps, no matter how many you have, on a single screen. The result is a list of tiny, tiny icons. So how do we find the apps we need? Just tap and drag your finger across the display and you get this magnifying glass effect. When you find the app you need, just point to it and release. Different settings allow you to customize icon size, magnifier size, scaling and other stuff to taste. Naughty Fly for Android. This utility app will transform all of your notifications into Facebook Messenger like floating bubbles. You can move them anywhere on the screen you wish, you can reply to messages directly from the bubbles and you can close them by flicking them down like this. Within the app, we can set bubble colors for the different apps, choose which apps we don't want to be channeled through Notify, and edit settings like size and sounds. Those were just a few highlights, but there is a grand total of 14 apps to check out in the full article, which is linked down below. I've been Paul for Phone Arena, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.